Sydney has a lot of great walking trails. As I've discovered, there are multiple trails listed and known publicly, and I'm also going to show you some trails that aren't even found on Google Maps yet. In my previous episode of Unseen Sydney, I showed you the hidden areas. In this episode, I'm going to show you the great walking trails that you can undertake. Okay, so we are at the coal loader in the northern Sydney, right near the Harbour Bridge. I'm going to take you through a tunnel that you can walk through, and the reserve is right behind me. Let's go. This is also part of the Ball's Head bushland that you can walk through. And this place operated from 1920 and closed in 1992, and then it was left vacant for a bit, and then it reopened to the public in 1997. And they've still left they've still left the coal loaders if you look up there. The quickest and easiest way to get to the coal loader is to drive. You can get there by bus or train, but you will have to walk a fair distance. The Boar's Head Reserve is a great area to walk. There are up to several trails you can undertake. You are allowed to take your dog as well, but they must be kept on the leash at all times. The reserve has areas where you can park your car and set up a picnic or have a barbecue. Getting to the Boar's Head Reserve is the same as getting to the coal loader. The best way is to drive. Okay. So I'm in Hunter's Hill, the Buffalo Creek Reserve, this place is called, and we're going to go on the Great North Walk. Now the reason why I'm showing you this walk is because it's really swampy, great for photography, and it's really interesting. Let's go on the walk. The only way to get to the Buffalo Creek Reserve is to drive. You can park in Buffalo Creek Park next to the playground, but you will have to pay. So this is the Fred Hollows Reserve, named after Fred Hollows. This is the reserve that's dedicated to him. Great walking track located in the suburb of Randwick in Sydney's east. Highly recommend it. Come down and have a look. The two easiest options for getting to the Fred Hollows Reserve is to either drive or catch the 374 bus or X74 bus. Okay, so this is the Manly Dam Reserve, not far from Manly. The only disappointing fact about this place is you do have to pay for parking, which can be a little bit costly, and there's no trains here, so you do have to drive, but the tracks are amazing, and we're not far from the built-up areas. The only way to get to the Manly Dam Reserve is to drive. Okay, so this is the Manly to Shelley Beach walk. It starts at the surf club there, and it's a nice walk. It's only 15 minutes long, 
flat surface, so it's easy for all ages. Great beginner's walk, beautiful scenery. You gotta check it out. To get to the Manly to Shelley Beach walk, you can either catch the bus or ferry, or you can drive. So we're at Lake Parramatta Reserve, right near Parramatta. I mean, it's in the suburbs, hidden, and it's quite a spectacular place to come. If you don't want to do the bushwalk, there's cafes and picnic areas. You can even go swimming here. The best way to get to Lake Parramatta is to drive as there is plenty of parking next to the lake. The Red Bank Track is a great short trail to undertake from Red Bank Road to Bryan's Road. Part of the track passes the old Rogans Hill railway line remains. The line closed in 1932 and went all the way from Westmead Station to Rogan's Hill. The Red Bank Track is next to Red Bank Road, located in the suburb of Northmead. The best option to get to the track is to drive and park your car in one of the streets nearby. Okay, so we're in the Otolosco Reserve, which starts at North Mead and you can walk all the way to Winston Hills. This track isn't even on Google Maps yet, yet this is a fantastic track to explore. It is really hidden, hardly anyone comes here, and we're actually in a built up area, but because they can't develop this area, they've left this as part of Mother Nature. So come have a look. The two easiest ways to get to the Otto Losco Reserve is to drive or you can catch the 606 or 609 bus. So this is Water Dragon Way, which goes from North Mead to Borkham Hills. It's called Water Dragon Way because this area, which isn't even on Google Maps, is full of water dragon lizards and other sorts of wildlife. But what I love about this nature walk is only residents know about it. The easiest way to get to Water Dragon Way is to drive as there is parking next to the track or you can catch the 609 bus. Okay, so I'm at Sydney's most famous walk, the Bondi to Bronte walk. Absolutely spectacular walk to go to. It is well known, celebrities come here, lots of tourists here. It's not so much a hard walk, just a few steps, but it's absolutely spectacular. I love coming here, it's refreshing. You've got to check it out. Easiest way to get to the Bondi to Bronte walk is to either catch the bus or drive. Thank you for watching the second episode of Unseen Sydney. I hope you get to visit those awesome walking trails. I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, like this video, comment below and share this video around.